Hey guys, welcome back to Batch Makers, your favorite show that recaps all things Bachelor Nation. Before we continue with this episode, we're going to ask you very nicely, Michael, please deliver the news. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And In that order. In that order. Or reverse the order. It doesn't matter to us. Just do those things. Helps us. Enjoy this episode. We'll see you. We'll see you in the episode. Just keep watching. All right. Bye. I'm up. He's stuck. And hello, hi, how are you? Welcome, everyone, to the first ever second annual Batchmaker Awards. <laughs> Presented by Good Time Media. We are the Batchmakers. I'm Wyatt. That's Michael. That's Lizzie in the middle. Everyone, this is a great celebration for a great season. Joey's season is officially under wraps. It is over. And uh, we're here to give some uh, awards out. I'm excited. This was a good season. Do we want to come out hot and real quick give grades for the season? Sure. Before we give awards. I think that's a good way to start. Michael, before I do my poems, before we do the opening monologue, get into the award ceremony, let's grade Joey, the cast, and the season as a whole. Wait, did we grade the producers last time too? I don't know. You can grade the producers. I don't think we did last time. But that's more than allowed. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, Joey, top of my head. B plus and a half. Okay. Like it. B plus and a half and a half. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, a, a is tough. A is tough. And I don't know. We just didn't see, I feel like we didn't see enough of Joe, to be honest. Like we didn't learn any anything new about Joe. He was great. He's very media trained. That's very apparent. But like I don't know, I, there was something missing. Um, you know, I, give him props, but you know, there's room for improvement. So he doesn't yeah. get an A from me. Next season uh, he'll be better. Cast B. Okay. B. So that's worse than the B plus and a half for Joe. Um, Mainly because outside of a couple people, meh, meh. Um, the whole as a whole, I think it's great. But star wise, there's only a few, right? Mm-hmm. And so I can't give it more than the B plus and a half for Joey. Um, and then really quick for producers, mm, C minus in a fourth. C minus in a fourth because they still won't allow anybody to come on our show. So that's an L. It's true. And the editing was was all right, but kind of a lot of editing, you know, hype up for a bunch of nothing. So that's an L. Um, overall, as a whole, average those out. Quick math. B and a half. B and a half. Final yeah. answer. I like that. Good grade, Lizzie. Final grades for this season. Okay. Um, I'm giving Joey an A minus. Okay. Because. He was easily one of the best I've seen since I've started the show. Um, But, like, I can't rank him on past, like, Matt James' season because I didn't watch. Um, But overall, I thought he was pretty good, solid. 10 out of 10. Um, Cast, I would say... I would say a B. Solid B. Um... Because I really liked how they all ended up being friends. Like, it wasn't shown from the producers. So producers can get their solid C, I guess. Um, But I did like how all of them ended up becoming, you know, like, stuck with each other. And they didn't turn against each other, like, in the end. Yeah. Oh, we love love, even if it's friendship love on this show. Exactly. Number one. Exactly. Um. Yeah, I feel like the producers edited out a lot of people's personalities, but that's just how they normally are. Um, Final but I grade. I wish we could see them. Final grade, I feel like it all averages out to about a B, right? All right. I like it. Consistency. Um, we're, we're, yeah, we're, I'm, I might bump that average up a little bit. I'm going to give Joey himself an A. I think he met all the criteria. He did. All, he, he played his role well as the lead. He would have gotten an A+. We just didn't see as much of his personality as I would have liked, and that's not on him, but I'm giving him an A. He checked all the boxes. Great, great lead. The cast itself, I'm going to give an A-. I think 
out of a cast, you want some superstars, some heavy hitters, and then you want some paradise gems. I think we could have gotten one more troublemaker. If we added one more drama pot stir, this cast would have been a plus category. Cause I, th- I do like the cast a lot. I think we needed one more. It was almost too lovey dovey towards the end where they all loved each other. I was like, hey, I want someone to come in and throw some haymakers. So that was the, my only knock on the cast producers. Uh, we are officially the bad boys of uh, bad boys and girl of bachelor nation because again, they don't let anyone come on the show. Um, but I'm going to take that bias out of, out of the consideration here. I'm going to give them a C plus because mostly for effort, they're trying things. They are attempting to add little wrinkles. They failed multiple times this season, but Hey, the efforts there and I have to applaud them for that. So I'm going to give them a C plus there averages out. I'm going to say A minus. I don't think the averages really works uh, out there, but I'm going to give this season an A minus. Room for improvement, but overall, wonderful job. So thank you to everyone involved. Now, uh, unfinished business. I did forget to give Daisy her poem last week, obviously, with the chaos of filming in a different location and it being the finale. Um, I do want to say our uh, give Daisy a proper goodbye. So if everyone, maybe let's cue the sad music again in post. And everyone, maybe take your caps off, bow your heads, and just let's have a moment to reflect on Daisy. Here we go. I haven't read this in like a month, so I'm, I'm a little afraid of what I said. Daisy, oh Daisy, what a special little flower. If Bachelor Nation was a country, you'd have all the, you'd have all the power. Uh-huh. Lizzie, Lizzie drafted you first, so I couldn't have you. If you send us a check, we'll promote Daisy Do. Everyone loves you, my mom, my dad, my aunt. And thanks to you, they now know the words. Cochlear, Cochlear implant. implant. Oh my god. Michael, you were a little you were a little <laughs> behind there, that's fine. Well, let's try that again. And thanks to you, they now know the words. Cochlear, Cochlear implant. implant. There we go. Uh, in a franchise that's run stale, you're a breath of fresh air. Young, blonde, and beautiful. That doesn't seem fair. Helping out chi- ch- <laughs> helping out children, <laughs> that'll keep you busy. I know from experience dealing with Michael and Lizzie. Boom, roasted. Daisy, oh Daisy, you're a batchmaker for life. A man will be lucky to one day call you his wife. And before this is all over, before this is all done, take a good look at the screen and thank... And think how much you're going to love the right one. And then we're going to flip it so I'm on the right there on the screen. Okay? We'll do that in post as well. Thank you. Thank you, Daisy. Um, you don't like that how, one? How, how is there no sour cream bar? How is there not a sour <laughs> cream bar? Sorry. I'm sorry. I was like, there's, there's going to be a sour cream bar. There's got to be. And I was waiting for it. And there wasn't a sour cream. You want to know? You know, I I may have thought Daisy was gonna win, so I didn't think I'd be reading her poem. Um, so her poem's a little lackluster. Um, aren't, you but still, I, aren't you still make a poem for Kelsey? I did, but again, I thought Daisy was gonna win, so I, I have Daisy, I have Kelsey's here as well. We'll we'll say it anyways. Um, all right, so that one was for Daisy. This one is for Kelsey. A, even though she didn't leave, um, I did edit this one because I had to change some bars because she won, obviously. So. Again, bow your heads again. If you're listening, watching, take your caps off, please. Maybe close your eyes, sit back, and cue the sad music again. Hey, hey, Miss Kelsey A. You're the star of my poem here today. You're a beautiful soul and highly intelligent. What a long way you've come from Mrs. Irrelevant. She was my last pick in the draft. That's why I'm not calling her irrelevant. That's Don't explain your bars. It's a, it's a, it's a, sorry, it's a, sports, it's a sports bar. Sports bar. Um, some say you snuck by, others say we barely know her. Or as Michael likes to say, I'm a grower, not a shower. <laughs> what what did I do? Like, what is going on? Like It was easier to make fun of you than the cast members. Uh, you made this coach proud all the way here in Indiana. I feel like I have a second home down in Louisiana. Last gal picked to last gal standing. My love for you is ever expanding. If Joey didn't pick you, that would have been his fatal flaw. Every day with you would feel like Mardi Gras. 
a wise gal for life, That's forever loyal, forever true, and always remember, Lizzie and Michael didn't draft you. Thank you, Kelsey A. Oh, I thought it was going to be a Purdue bar to end it. I was like, I also did too. I was like, ever, ever grateful, ever true. You know, is that a Purdue thing? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. that and was then it rhymed amazing. with, and then, then I thought it was like, then it, I thought you were going to end up like, and go Purdue. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I could never do that. Um, all right. Thank Those are, those are my four poems. I will continue to do that as this show goes on for the uh, hometowns. Whoever makes it the hometowns gets a poem. Um, uh, real quick update before we get into the awards. We have to uh, look at the tournament challenge. So we hosted a Batchmaker tournament challenge. And da, uh, da, da, da. and the winner gets to decide the draft order for next season, which could get interesting because currently tied for first place is our very own Batchmaker Michael. <laughs> Michael, what what's going on, man? How are we feeling? I'm, I'm sorry I know ball. Like, I'm, I'm not going to apologize for knowing ball, all right? Unreal. Unreal. You are tied though with uh, someone whose bracket is Jacket Bracket. I don't know who that is. If you are, reach out to us. Uh, DM me on Instagram or DM Good Time on Instagram so we can uh, keep track of that and reach out to you if you win. Um, but yeah, Michael, what you want to you tip your pitch a little bit here? Who would you? Uh, what well, would yeah, you draft? Job, job's, job's not finished. If but if you do win, we'll know by next week. I, I hope I don't. I hope I don't because I hope pretty wins. Honestly. Okay. I hope I don't win. Okay, so can let's. We, what's up, Lizzie? Can we go ahead and remind everyone that I'm also in third? You, we can we can do that as well. Lizzie's yeah. in third. Okay. Um, I believe if Purdue wins, the jacket bracket person wins. If UConn wins, then Michael will win. And then I don't know if there's a path, Lizzie. This there seems to be a uh, trend. Bama, Bama would have to be UConn. Bama would have to be UConn. Who do you have in your final, Lizzie? Me? Well, I had um, well, I have UConn, but I also had UK. So yeah, I don't, I, I don't think you can, can jump. No, you there's not a chance me. I can win. Yeah, that's why I thought. Stay in your place. Third place is Stay in your lane. Lizzie that's lives like, in third. third yeah, my... you live in third place in this show. <laughs> <laughs> that's tough. That's Lizzie's never going to beat the third place allegations. Never. Hey, maybe next year. Maybe next season. Maybe. Maybe. maybe in Gen season. Um, and maybe I'll give you a good. Maybe I'll give you a good draft order. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, oh, maybe. Hell's gonna freeze over before I try to sweet talk my way into a better draft pick with Michael. That would, that would be too nice of you. I can't. Oh man. Um. Okay. Are we? Uh, are we ready to get into some awards here? Anything yeah, else we need to cover? It. Um. Let's all right. It. So, um, for those who are gonna say I'm talking too much, uh, I do have an opening monologue I would like to give. I did offer for Michael to write it. So oh, that was so long ago, I totally missed that text. I don't, I don't want any criticisms from Michael on this monologue because I probably uh, will. that's fair. Um, but I'm gonna try to attempt the, uh, you know, the the monologue cadence that they have, like the Oscars, the Emmys, all that. You know, these they come on stage, roast a few people, get the show on the road. So, um, whenever you guys are ready, I would like to intro with some applause. So I, I'll I'll get off screen and then I'll hear the applause and like come behind the curtain. Okay, got gotcha. you. Let's just not. Let's just not. Let's not applause. Let's, okay. let's, hey, it's April Fool's. Let's do a little prank. Oh, he can hear us still. He can hear can us still. Hear, I have a headphones on. Shit. Shit. Uh, okay. Damn it. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Great to be here. What a year for love. Am I right? It's really cool to have all these faces uh, here in one room to celebrate this past season of the bachelor. Uh, let's give it up for Joey real quick. What a, what a year he's had, you know, after getting his heart broken on TV, now the lead, and now he's in love. Um, I think we can all agree. It feels like the bachelor franchise has a breath of fresh air. Uh, and we owe most of that to one man and that the uh, one man that all the ladies seem to love. He's up for an award here tonight. Uh, we saw his tennis game flourish this season. And of course I'm talking about Jesse Palmer. Let's give it up for Jesse Palmer. Um, of course, we had our fair share of drama this year. We had Maria versus Sydney. Everyone remembers that. We had Maria versus Princess Leia. Everyone remembers that. We had Maria versus Jess. We had Maria versus Medina. We had Maria versus Rachel. Uh, Maria got tangled up with more women than Clayton did at Fantasy Suites. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Boom roasted. 
Just jokes. Just jokes, people. Don't cancel it's me. April Fool's Day. Just jokes. Um, Oppenheimer came out this year. Fuck. Wrong script. Um, Michael. Michael is here. For us. You need a longer pause. <laughs> Michael is here. Like... From the Patchmakers podcast. Let's give it up for Michael. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Michael's fantasy team led every single week this season up until the very last week. Uh, quite an accomplishment. Uh, choking a great season at the very end. Is that Michael's team or is that the Bachelor producers? Am I right? Oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to make a Purdue thing. No, or it's, something, so. no, we're keeping it light. We're keeping it fun. Uh, Lizzie is here as well. Good to see Lizzie. Let's clap it up. Um. Oh wait, I maybe she's not here. I I don't know. Can you see her, Michael? Is she here? Uh, maybe she decided to no show, just like her entire team this season. Oh, oh. oh. boom roasted! Just Tough. jokes, just jokes, everyone. Um, listen, we have a great show for you tonight. Uh, leading us off strong here with the cringe of the season award is going to be presented by Michael. Michael, the floor is yours. Who are the nominees? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Opens card. <laughs> <laughs> and the nominees for cringe of the season are are you gonna like play the video like during this? Yeah, or, yeah, like, we'll do like the nominees. We'll okay. cut. And the nominees for cringe of the season are No one leaving with Sydney when she stormed out after yelling at Maria. I'm done with Yang Latak tonight. I'm gonna head out if anyone wants to join me. I'm just done being in this negative environment. Like, just nobody left. Good. Edwina's singing. Been a long time coming. You should do something else besides singing. Sorry, Edwina. Joey and every motorcycle shoot. I believe it was just one. And then there were two. Like, There's the moped. That was not a motorcycle shoot. It was like a All moped right. thing. What is it called? A. Uh, Thing. I like All right, let's change that nominee to Joey in every motorized vehicle. Okay, Joey in every motorized vehicle shot. Honestly, this day can't get any better. Joey's coming. We're all gonna be our bikinis. I have my favorite food today. Then we have Joey almost saying, "I'm all ears" to Daisy. Guys, I couldn't really hear that well. Oh. And then, um. Sorry, this is like a lot, oh, <laughs> and I've oh, never oh, just oh. like. That would have been tough. Because of the cochlear implant, because she has that, by the way. And then we have Princess Leia with perspective eyes. I, I, it's hard to even read it, to be honest. It is. It's hard. <laughs> what I would perspectivize in this situation. And then we have no one caring that Lauren and Allison were sisters. Even America didn't care. <laughs> Sorry. And then we have Princess Leia again with peep the hair, peep the nails, peep the dress. Peep the nails, peep the dress. Yeah, peep the hair. We get it. Well, what a what a loaded cast of nominees. Mm -hmm. That's a loaded category. Um, how we're going to do this is whoever presents the award will have final say. We can talk about it, who we would pick. Um, I don't know here. This one's tough. Princess Leia getting two nominations. Big for her. Big shout out to her. I almost want to – I can't, I would lean towards Joey's almost saying I'm all ears, but he didn't say it. If he would have mm -hmm. said it, that would have won. I'm, yeah. I think I'm going to so – what are you thinking? No, no, you, you, you talk. I think I'm going to give it to Edwina singing. So this is what I'm thinking, right? And I have final say, by the way. Yeah. So the no one leaving Sydney was objectively hilarious. But I remember not cringing. I remember laughing at her. I wasn't cringing. I wasn't. It's true. I was. <laughs> loser, right? <laughs> Kidding. You know, I love wasn't. you, Sydney. Yeah, no, yeah. You know, but at the time, at the time. At the time. Right? Um, Edwina singing, I would. It was kind of cringy. She should stick to something else. But she tried. And I 
It's a valiant effort. She gave a valiant effort in front of a group, big group of people without any music background. So hats off to her. So the winner peep the hair, peep the nails, peep the dress. Hell and yeah. Only, and I think what adds to this winning also is how much I would say a little bit overplayed a bit, especially at the uh, finale and getting Gary to try doing it. And he thought she said pizza nails. That was hilarious. Um, Yeah, it was just a little bit, you know, I get like that was your thing, Leia. Like I was your saying, but like pipe it down. Pipe it down. All right. Love you. Hey, she just she's standing on business. That's what she does. Yeah, she 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 did stand on business with that quote, and it was kind of iconic. Cringe or not, it was iconic. Yeah, a hundred percent. Well, hey, again, shout out to Princess Leia, uh, one time nominee, one time winner, hasn't lost mm-hmm. yet. So, congrats to her. Uh, next up, the next award we are giving out, uh, small but mighty one with four nominees. Lizzie will be presenting this one. This this is uh, best nickname. So, Lizzie, uh, would you like to uh, read out the nominees? Oh, I would love to. Um, Okay, so the nominees for Best Nickname. Starting out strong with our favorite, Circles Up. Circles Up. Circles Up in the chat. Everyone listening at home, watching along, Circles Up. We got Kelsey T, 31. All of her Instagram posts are in circles. No, like actually. Literally go to her Instagram. It's the funniest thing ever. She crops all of her pictures to circles and posts them on Instagram. (laughs) Oh, which oh my a, gosh, they are. Which They're is a all red circles. flag. All right, circles up. Um, next one, Princess Leia. Back to back nominations for back Leia. Back to back nominations. She's going crazy. Um, our third nickname nominee, Autumn is coming, or as Wyatt's shirt says, Autumn, Autumn came. Autumn came. Past tense. <laughs> Don't say it, Mike. <laughs> And last but not least, Firefly number one. Our lovely Maria referencing her role in the pacifier as Firefly number one. This is a tricky category, Mike. I think mm-hmm. there's a front runner. Oh, what I think there's you- a clear number one. I think there's a quick clear winner. Yeah. Do, do we, should we just do it together? We should. All right. And the winner. All right. The you winner would, is. Yeah. And the winner is. Circles. Circles. Uh, what a- I mean, if the nickname has, you know, a uh, symbol to go with yeah. it, a, a, a hand sign to go with it, that's a layup. It's a layup. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, – yeah, I think uh, it evolved too a lot. It started out as us pointing out that she couldn't possibly win because mm-hmm. we've never had a circled Instagram winner before. Um and now she became a fan favorite, like a, a show favorite. We love circles. She'll always be circles to me, no matter yeah. what. Um, yeah, that's a that's a big win for her. Really happy for her. She finally got her moment. Um, yeah. Shout out to circles. Shout out to circles. Kelsey T, we love you. Um, next award of the night, Mike will be presenting. You want to announce this award? Oh, yeah. That was awesome moment of the season. And this could be, I think, taken a lot of different ways. This could be taken a lot of different ways because how do you, you know, interpret, oh, yeah, that was awesome. Because mm-hmm. um, I'll say this, Pop, before you read the nominees, in my head, it was like, oh, yeah, that was awesome. Like something I forgot was cool uh, and was cool. So, again, it uh, shows the flexibility of this category. Yeah. I'm, I I, I kind of emphasize the yeah more. Oh, yeah. You, did, you Kool-Aid. Oh, man. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah, well, um, but let's let's hear the nominees. The nominees are Maria and Joey's backseat limo ride. I think the best part of the season so far is just them in the backseat of that limo. Yes. Oh my god, the chemistry was just insane. the chemistry is insane. It's very hard. Why? That's uh, what she said. Um, good one. Thank you. Beaucoup chez avec moi. No, because I can tell it's a bad word. Oh. <laughs> I would say. <said> it. <laughs> Evelyn during the wedding table, diving over, diving, <laughs> diving over the wedding table. Oh my god! Uh, 
um yeah that's when she like literally did like a full long jump over or high jump over the wedding table that was crazy maria and sydney two on one a little uh two on one date classic and then uh maria's outfit change let me just slip into something a little more comfortable if you know what i mean listen i can't breathe in this dress okay so i'm gonna just go quickly slip into something more comfortable okay but i'll be right back Okay. Uh, Riz. So, um, why? What do you think? Uh, what do you think, Lizzie? How? how yeah, what, Lizzie. What let's, you, hear, let's hear your what thoughts. Pops, what pops in? Oh. What? When you heard those nominees, were you like, "Oh yeah, that was awesome"? And how do you interpret it? I would interpret it kind of like Wyatt did, where like, "Oh yeah, that was awesome." Like one of those kind of moments. Um. To me, the one that really sticks out would have to be Evelyn diving over the wedding table. Yeah. Like, that's just so iconic. It's gonna, So iconic. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's going to be something that a year from now, I'll totally have forgotten. And then someone will mention it to me, and my exact reaction will be, oh, yeah, that was awesome. If someone brings 100%. that up a year from me, I'll be like, oh, yeah, that was awesome. Or Wait. you'll see picture or a video of it and you're exactly like, that was awesome exactly but then i think of maria's outfit change and i'm like that, that oh, was awesome yeah. oh yeah that was awesome <laughs> yeah so, so then i think well i think of maria and joey's backseat limo mm-hmm. ride and i'm like oh yeah that was that awesome was awesome that yeah. was awesome but that's the thing i won't forget that and i won't that that backseat i was just like <laughs> goals but also they you know they didn't end up together, so I think that takes away from that moment a little bit, a little bit. You know, hindsight twenty twenty. You know, um, but Evelyn diving over the table, that was sick too. But the winner is. Let me just slip into something a little bit more oh. comfortable, to show you. Oh yeah, uh, that's awesome. Oh yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, a, yeah, that was congrats awesome. Congrats to Maria, first the time moment. winner. That was the moment she became I- iconic. I think mm-hmm. that's that's when she she we all knew she was getting there, and then there it was like she solidified herself as the next thing. She turned boys to men in that in that yeah. moment right yeah. there. Yeah. She yeah. was she was mm-hmm. the sexual awakening for a lot of a lot of young boys who watched The Bachelor because that's yeah, the demographic all, for the show. All, of, all, all the, the young boys, all the young boys who watching were like, Bachelor. you know what, not watching March Madness, I'm gonna watch The Bachelor. Um, and then they grow up to start a podcast, and it's called Batch Bakers, and here we are. Uh, oh, we watch March Madness too, guys. Yeah, yeah, Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. And that's the origin story. Yes, exactly. Um, all right. Well, so we got wins for Leia. We have wins for Circles. We have wins for Maria. And uh, now we move on to uh, a little more solemn uh, award. This is the Gone But Not Forgotten, also known as the Night One Exit uh, Award. This this uh, involves people or things that were short lived. They made they made their moment. Uh, it was short, but it was sweet. Um, so the nominees for the Gone but Not Forgotten Award are Leia's card, where she could steal a one on one. She was re- she received it um, at the finale of the batch of the Bachelorette. Threw it into the fire. Great moment. Um, Lizzie's entire team. Uh, this is referencing the fact that almost Lizzie's entire team went home on night one. Uh, Lauren's cake. <laughs> this this was when uh, Lauren was basically – she was self-eliminating. She was leaving the show. She was spiraling, and the cake was late, and then she ate it anyways. Um, Allison. This was uh, – someone added this one. This is, yeah. this is just Lauren's, Lauren's sister. Mm-hmm. <laughs> also – she just she kind of stuck around for a little yeah. bit and um, didn't have any really screen time, but she was there. I would agree. It was good. Um, and now we have two night one exits. Uh, we have Samantha, NFL cheerleader, and uh, we have Nat, friend of the program, um, also a member of Team Lizzie. Uh, mm-hmm. Both members of Team Lizzie, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yeah. They both were well, I, I, it, it's just a matter of were they eliminated night one? Oh, yeah. Then they were on Lizzie's team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, loaded category, loaded category. Uh, Michael, what are you thinking here? Well, I feel like three of the (laughs) nominees are kind of the same thing. (laughs) If I'm not mistaken. mistaken. So I think one of them kind of sums up 
<laughs> half the nominees. I would have to agree uh, with you there, Mike. Uh, Lizzie, what, what do you think about these nominees? Well, I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, I don't know. I kind of think I think it really speaks for itself. Yeah, I, honestly, I, I was between two, but then as I ran through the nominees, yeah. Leia's card didn't quite hold up to the other nominee no and we talked about leia's card later on they brought it up at the tell-all so it had a large lifespan um and you know what didn't have a large lifespan was lizzie's chances of winning so the award for <laughs> gone but not forgotten is lizzie's entire team lizzie congratulations matchmaker award winner might be the uh Match. only thing you win this season so <laughs> Well, it's the only thing you win this season. Oh my gosh, Lizzie! For your sake, <laughs> I, I hope you have a good night one on Gen season, because this could get ugly as a bit that just keeps going on. Listen, I think happens. I think you'll do better with the guys because you are not a guy. It's good point. Good point, because, Michael. Like, choose men. Yeah. Yeah, she chooses men, and yes. so and you are you're also a female choosing men. Yes. We are dudes choosing men, which. Yeah. Is sick. Terrible still. at it. Still sick. Still, still yeah. sick. Yeah. Just choosing more pals. Um, so if you do get third place again, I think that you know. If you if you get third place again, I think that'd be so tough. I, I think I just have to forfeit like Lauren did. <laughs> yeah, I think you gotta to self eliminate. I'm gonna go um, ahead and self eliminate. Yeah. Like, oh, like two people on my team did, by the way. Oh yeah. Lexi. People do forget that two people on my team self eliminated. Oh my gosh. They didn't, they that didn't is do tough. Your own, your own team just gave up on you. That's tough. Um, that's terrible coaching. That's terrible coaching. See, Purdue oh, well, wanted to win it for pain. Is that coaching or is that on the players? Coaching. Well, we'll, we'll see because Lizzie is nominated for we'll Coach see. of the Year later on. We'll so see. we'll see. But Lizzie, you are uh, presenting the next award <laughs> um, for, <laughs> for uh, Daddy of the Season. So would yep. you like to okay. let the nominees say the nominees there? Yes. Okay. Daddy. So um didn't like that, Michael. <laughs> I hated that. Yeah. Thank you so much for that, Michael. You're welcome. Really set the mood. Um, okay, so the nominees for Daddy of the Season. Jesse Palmer. Nice. OG. Um, fan favorite, Mr. Mark, Kelsey's dad. Love him. And our very own friend of the program, Nick, Maria's dad. This is a tough category. I'll it say is. it. This is tough. Yeah. This is extremely tough. We got to put personal bias aside. What daddy had the best season? Start to finish. For me, as much as I would love to give it to Nick, Maria's dad, I think I think Jesse might have my daddy of the season, but that's just me. What are you thinking, Mike? I mean, how I see it is Jesse's a daddy on every season. You know, that's I don't true. know. You could, but you know, you this is his first, didn't he just have a kid? Yeah, this is his first season. So his first dad. season as no. an actual dad, I think, during, during as, as a lit as a literal father. I thought he had one during bit. No, because his maybe had during wife. Bit. His wife was like pregnant almost in labor during the golden wedding. So this is his first full season as a daddy. Wait, no, but then it was filmed before he was even a daddy. Do, do, we're talking about airtime, not film time. Airtime. It's fine. Okay. Okay. He still he still qualifies for daddy this season. Okay, yeah. He's take qualifies. away his nomination. I'm not gonna take away. I'm just saying. Okay. There's there's a lot of great options. I think okay. it can go either way. Lizzie, final call is yours. Who wins daddy of the season? <sighs> I forgot that this was my category and I had to pick. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with um, the unexpected. Never before seen in Bashmaker's history. Never before seen. Oh my gosh, um, and I'm going to give I'm going to give Daddy of the season to Mark. Wow, wow! You will uh, have to defend that answer very shortly in a few days. Here, I will be calling you out for not That's voting fine. Yeah. Can. for our pal. Um, but no, I like the pick explain it yeah i just feel like we saw a lot of mark um mm -hmm. and his parenting and how he approached hometowns as a whole um i don't know he's just a very very likable guy 
and I'm giving that, giving it to Mark. They did hint that we haven't seen the end of him either. So they did yeah, exactly. acknowledge that he could be on that Golden Batch threat, which I'll ship him with Leslie 100%. Make oh, it yeah. happen. Oh, that's yeah. That's a power couple right there. That is, that's, that's, that's a hot families. couple. That's a hot couple right there. Mm-hmm. That feed families. Oh my gosh. That's a, that's or, a legacy couple. Him and Ellen, wouldn't they look great? I, they would I look know. cute together. Him and Ellen. Oh. I was just thinking about that. Him and Ellen. Him and Ellen, cute couple. Him and Leslie, hot couple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That would, I that's what I would say. Um, all right. Next award we are going to give out. This is a fan favorite award. Um, this is going to be presented by Michael. This is Joey's horn dog moment of the year. And I want to say this is an absolutely stacked category. This is so stacked, dude. This is so st- – everyone I've had is pretty stacked. Um, but all right. So the nominees for Joey's horn dog moment of the year are tonight's a great night to come. Here's to an amazing night to come. Pause. <laughs> the second nominee being Pike president. The third nominee, his reaction to uh, Maria's. Uh, let me uh, slip into something a little bit more comfortable. Award-winning <laughs> outfit change. Award-winning outfit change. Listen, I can't breathe in this dress, okay. so I'm gonna just go quickly slip into something more comfortable. Okay. But I'll be right back. Okay. Iconic pow. The next nominee is um, saying his dick won't work. <laughs> no, he said it works. No, 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 my bad, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I, I was kind of in my head. I was like, am I allowed to say that? And then I was yeah, like, no, it right. doesn't work. I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna say. It. Yeah. Um, you heard it here first. Saying his dick works fine um, to Maria slash um, the uh, Golden Gals that were hosting Askin. the event. Yeah, the Askin um, at the talent show. If things aren't well working quite the same, hey, for well, him, I'd hope that wouldn't be the case. Not a problem. Uh, it was like, what happens if you need to spice things up? And like, whoa, 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 man! Like, uh, it works fine. <laughs> um, and then saying, "Do you want to touch it to Daisy?" Wait. So this is this is no, one I have. Daisy, saying... Daisy said it, and then he yeah. joked about it, like not you saying, "Do you want to touch it?" Like he's the one who made it horny. Do you want to touch it? Uh, probably have. <laughs> Not the question. Do you want to touch it already? Yeah. So Daisy was talking about her her cochlear implant. Yeah. The one time she talked about that, and <laughs> sorry, I couldn't help it. Um, and she said, "Do you want to touch it?" And then Joey. What did he say exactly? Like uh, he said, "Not you don't." Or he's like laughing. He was like, "Not do you want to touch it?" <laughs> Not do you want to touch it. <laughs> It's all other category. I this could go yeah. either ways. I think I think an underrated nominee is being Pike president, which is just funny. I think that is the nomination. Um, tonight's a great night to come. Is it all? I'll never forget that moment. Um, the other ones I had to kind of search for. I would give my vote to tonight's a great night to come, but it's not me deciding this one. See, I think he wasn't meaning it in that way. I'm like, it's true. I, I, like he yeah. might might have meant it, and they might have giggled after you know the camera cut away from them. Um, but I think the winner is saying that his dick works fine to <laughs> Maria at the talent show, mainly because the large audience at the time. And one, it was a crazy question to even ask, but yeah. his response. Definitely was like, dude, no, no, dude, no. like, trust me, it works no, fine. Yeah. Like, his, no problems down here. <laughs> his reaction almost made it seem like there might be there some was issues. problems. Yeah, yes. it might be a yeah. little bit of issues, but yeah. I hope all is well downstairs, Joey. Um, <laughs> Praying for you. So, well, I guess this is a first ever uh, award for Joey's penis. Joey's penis. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Your there award you will be in the mail. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, nope. I'm going to stop while well, I'm ahead. All right. Um, all right. This next award, uh, this is an honorary award. This has been requested. Um, and, uh, yeah, loaded category. So I don't know who's going to win this one. 
This is the award for Wyatt's best friend in the whole world, even if he didn't invite me to his wedding and his team unfairly gets franchise QBs out of nowhere. So uh, this is a tough one. The only nominee is uh, Dylan Barber. And yeah, those are the nominees. So, uh, Michael, any insight on who you think is going to win this one? I mean, listen, man, it could be a, it's a tough category. Anybody can win. I think, you know, a lot of teams got, you know, good players that can make uh, game winning plays, but it's just uh, who's going to, you know, limit, uh, you know, turnovers and uh, yeah. make their shots. Exactly. I agree. I, I, I couldn't sleep last night thinking of this one. Lizzie, any, uh, any insight on who you think might win this one? I don't know, man. I think it's really tough. You're going to have to put a lot of thought into this one. Yeah. Um, it's, it really honestly came down to a coin flip between Dylan and, and the other nominees. And considering there weren't other nominees, uh, drum roll please, the award for Wyatt's best friend in the whole world, even if he didn't invite me to his wedding and his team unfairly gets franchise QBs out of nowhere, goes to Mr. Dylan Barber. Congratulations, Dylan. Uh, I believe first time nominee, first time award winner. Um, yeah, he is my best friend in the whole world, whether he admits it or not. And his uh, team, the Green Bay Packers, just continues to get franchise quarterbacks. And it's infuriating. Um, but the Vikings are going to draft one and we'll be fine. But uh, I don't want to take away his moment. Congrats, to Dylan. That's huge. Um, and now we move on to uh, another highly uh, competitive category. Uh, this is quote of the season, which I will be presenting as well. Uh, we have a few uh, repeat nominations here as well. So I'll run through them. The nominees for quote of the season are tonight's a great night to come. Joey and fantasy suites. Here's to an amazing night to come. Pause. Lauren saying, maybe I'll see you at hometowns. Maybe I'll see you at hometowns. Yeah. After <laughs> self eliminating because her sister was still there. So good. <laughs> Clink, uh, which is what Joey would say every single time they uh, cheers. 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 Clink. 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 And it was kind of uh, Clink. grow up. This is when Jess and Maria were having a grow up off and they were yelling at each other, you grow up, you grow up. I'm grow not up. giving you my time. Grow up. Grow up. You need to grow the f up, up, grow bitch. up. Um, when I was studying abroad, I learned how to say I'm not wearing any underwear. When I was studying abroad, I learned how to say I'm not wearing any underwear, but I don't know that one anymore. That would be our uh, new bachelorette, Jen. There you uh, go, shot a clock. There you go. <laughs> uh, the Maria way, said by Maria. Do an act. I did it in a Maria way. Uh, previously nominated, perspectivize. What I would perspectivize in this situation. From Princess Leia. Uh, another new bachelorette quote, I want to get naked and cuddle in the woods from Jen. And uh, Maria, final nomination, calling Sydney Missy Troublemaker. So again, an absolutely loaded quotes mm -hmm. category this season. We had more quotes of the week than cringes of the week. Michael, where's your heart go with this one? Well, Jim, I think this could go a lot of ways. Um I don't know. There's some good ones in here. Some some short some short ones and some longer ones. Um, pause. Um, tonight's a great night to come. This is what third third nomination. Yeah, something right? like that. It's yeah, so it, it's, it's the Oppenheimer of this Oscars. It's it's the DiCaprio for that long stretch yeah. where he didn't win one. Um, <laughs> but but then you have the gems, the clinks, right? That's just one mm -hmm. word. This perspectivize, um, and then you you know. You got some some Jen quotes in there too, so it might help the fact that she's you know the next Bachelorette. That might help her case in some of these uh, nominations. Very well, good, Lizzie. Is your heart pulling you one way? One of these quotes. You know, there's a lot of good ones. Um, I might be biased when I say this one, but you know, the one that's really really speaking to me is Lauren's. Maybe I'll see you at hometowns. Like that's just mm -hmm. that's just too yeah. good. That one, that one is so funny to me. Um, it's a Too great, good. it's a great line. It's it's between that. I think it's between that and Clink, because Clink just. Yeah. I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna remember it. I'm just. I can hear Joey saying it every time I cheer someone. I kind of say it in my head now, and I can't unhear it. Um, and because of that, drum roll, please. 
The award for quote of the season goes to Clink. Congratulations, Joey Clink. Everyone, we clink your glasses at home. Clink. I uh, have a glass clink. Um, congratulations. I believe first time award winner for uh, – are we giving this one to Joey or do we give it to the, the glasses? No, because he still said he the says word. It. Right, Joey it's says it. Joey. It's to Joey. It's Joey. So, right, congrats, congrats Joey. Joey. Congratulations. That's amazing. Um, the next award goes to Lizzie as the presenter. It is best take of the year. Yeah, the award doesn't go oh, to Lizzie. Oh, oh, I thought right. you were giving uh, me another uh, award. Sorry, and yeah, I phrased that wrong. Hey, you can you give yourself your one. Lizzie is nominated. It just, it just feels wrong. But uh, what it are the nominees for best take of the okay, year, Lizzie? Okay, so best take of the year. The nominees are Joey, knowing something was wrong. I want to give a shout out to Joey uh, for recognizing that Rachel was hurt. Do something about it. I knew something was wrong and it, I, I just, I felt worried. This is when Rachel uh, broke her face in the water yes. Yes. and Joey was like, I could tell something was wrong. After looking at her jaw, I knew something was wrong. <laughs> Which did you see, Michael? The news? I sent it. Yeah, I sent this to you. Yeah, yeah we Real talked Bros. about it last. Yeah. yeah, we, yeah. Real, new Real Bros. Simi Valley coming out Huge. soon. This summer. But Massive. Sorry, continue. Um, Daisy being drafted first well, that's overall. Great pick. That's a great call. Great call. Um, I'm not biased, though. Kelsey's we need to talk card being nothing. Dang, I think that's yeah. all of us. Yeah. Basically. Um, And if you like her, you can't like me. If you like her, there's no way you can like me. When Maria said that to Joey, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. talking about Sydney, re Sydney, one. yeah, mm -hmm. it's a that's a tough category. It's an extremely tough mm -hmm. category. You know, I think you guys go ahead first, All right. and then I'll do my final, um, my final pick. I think, as much as I would love to give it to you for Daisy being drafted one one, I think she was going one one, no matter who anyway. was in the pick. Yeah. So like the take uh -huh. itself wasn't that bold. Um, not to take anything away from the pick, you still had to get it. Um, he just took Kelsey's. We need to talk card. That was a that was us in unison, um, all agreeing there. For me, I think it's Joey realizing that something was wrong with Rachel because if he didn't realize that, she could have died. So I think it's very important. Yeah, no, uh. I think that's that was a great take by Joey. He he saved her life in a, in a sense. I think um, they went to the hospital just to you know see the uh, X ray when it was literally nothing. Um, so yeah, that was a good take. Uh, and then you know we need to talk card being nothing. That was also a good take. So yeah, you know you both make really good points. Um, yeah. I think the winner. The winner of this category of best take of the year. Drum roll, please. Joey, knowing something was wrong. Love that. Back to back wins for Joey. Am I? That's, yeah. Yeah. Clink Two. and knowing something was wrong. Two time winner. Love that. Good for Joey. Again, saving lives out here. We so love So proud him. of him. Yeah. True, just... true bachelor. I honestly, mm -hmm. like, still looking back, I don't know how he figured it out. I, yeah. It blows my mind. Sherlock Joey. Um, totally crazy. Like, I I wouldn't have known. So. <laughs> she couldn't. It's not I mean, like she could move her jaw. No, never. <laughs> never. Mm -hmm. um, congrats, Joey. Back-to-back -back winners here. Um, all right. Moving on to the inverse of that category, we have worst take of the year. Um, and the nominees are um, – us being so confident that Maria was going to be the Bachelorette. Bad take. Uh, the producers thinking that Leia's card was a good idea where she could just steal a one-on-one. -on -one. How would that even work? Um, this is a potential worst take of the year. Them potentially canceling Paradise, which is a big mistake because Paradise is loved. One bad season does, one bad apple doesn't make a bad batch. Okay, so we can still have a good paradise season, especially with this cast. Um, Jess's confidence after her first kiss with Joey. I believe she was the first kiss of the season. Yeah. She was. And then she went around telling everyone that they smooched. Mm -hmm. And she was very confident. And we're all like, hey, pump the brakes, Jess. A lot of, a lot of ball game left. 
Um, no Bachelor Bowl. I know this obviously upset uh, Michael mm-hmm. a ton. Um, they opted for the tennis date and then the weird like Roman fighting one. Oh, and, like and they, the the they um, flipped a car. No, they did like a tires. obstacle course. Yeah, yeah. They flipped tires and stuff. Yeah, that was so weird. St- um, and then this was added late. Uh, Wyatt always power ranking Rachel low, which is a fair. I had mm-hmm. Rachel towards the bottom of my power rankings every week, and she just kept winning. I have apologized to her um, via internet, and uh, I believe she accepts my apology, but I did. I ranked her very low. So um, another solid category here. Michael, what stands out to you? Yeah, I mean, um, I, I'm still on the thing of us being so confident Marie's going to be Bachelorette. I don't think that was a bad take. I still stand by that. I will still stand by my confidence um, and our confidence. Potentially ca- canceling Paradise, that's a, that's a potential. You know, it's mm-hmm. still not confirmed. So is it a bad take? Is it not? I don't know. Um, the producers with the with Leia's bad car, that's, that was a terrible take. Um, Jess, first time nominee. Shout out Jess. Yep, also. Shout out Jess. Terrible take. She was all downhill from that first kiss. Um, and then, you know, personal to me, Bachelor Bowl. I was really upset about it. But, uh, you know, we get over it. And hopefully, you know, they bounce back in the producers, you know, throw it in next year. Yeah. Uh, Lizzie, anything stand out to you from this list? I don't know. I really think, really think there's an obvious choice here. Uh, yeah. Might just be me, but I think it's all kind of – collectively known i think there is one that stands out to me as well we'll see if we're thinking the same thing um i want to i, I want to take that bad through and through um it doesn't work out and then it probably never could have worked out in any capacity so drum roll please the award for worst take of the year goes to our favorite people in the world the producers for thinking leia's card was a good idea how in the world would that have ever worked? Him, her stealing a one-on-one mm-hmm. from someone. What is Joey just going to now take Leia on that date? It just screws over Leia, the girl, the process, everything. It throw. This isn't a game. This is mm-hmm. love. We're not playing with people's hearts here. So let's be real, producers. I like the effort. Bad execution. Bad idea. Congrats, though, to the producers mm-hmm. for winning Worst Take. That's a, that's a big batch maker <laughs> award. So congrats. Yeah. It is yeah. kind of... It's it's kind of uh you know on par that the bad boys of Bachelor Nation are giving bad boys and girl door. and, and girl. girl. Of, you can of, put me uh, in the bad boys category. Yeah, so hey, bad boys. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, my feminism isn't here right now. There you go. Bachelor Nation are giving the producers an award. It just so happens to be a uh, negative uh, kind of award. Yeah, but so, congrats, uh, congrats. But hey, we should uh, send one to the ABC headquarters. Yeah, they... I'll say I'll say this. Well deserved. Mm-hmm. super well yeah. deserved very well deserved um and now michael with uh, an interesting category here coach yeah. of the year so as um the former coach of the year mm-hmm. um from the first season by default i think yeah. um you know i can i i think i can give this award uh there's four nominees um actually i'm gonna give five nominees Actually, okay. I'm All adding right. adding a mystery one. I'll Ooh. let you guys, you know, figure that out later. So the first nominee is Wyatt Kelsey with the final pick of the draft and winning the uh, league. Uh, Lizzie, she drafted Daisy one one layup. Um, she also like drafted a terrible team. She did not surround Liz- surround Daisy with any role players and just did not have good team chemistry at all. Um, can I also say that I did have two people in the top three? Good counter, good counter argument. Score point, please. Um, and then Michael, um, you know, great manager, uh, had some had some team chemistry issues in the middle of the season, and obviously had a had a, I think MVP candidate. And we'll get to that later. Um, and Maria, and then Medina, coaching all the girls how to handle the drama. That's her job. Like actually, she's like a mental health therapist or something like that um and then fifth throw in jesse in there for his second nomination Mm. of the Mm. night because he he does coach he coaches joey he coaches you know the gals too um but you know i'm giving him that nomination because he deserves a second nomination and the winner of coach of the year goes to wyatt yes (laughs) 
the coach of the wise gals, the, the, the amount of hours he put into scouting and putting into, you know, day in and day out the wave wire, he was all around it. Um, the, the, uh, the dedication on the Instagram stories, the dedication to wearing the same shirt that he probably didn't wash a single week. I'm not guessing. Once. Not once. I'm guessing. Not once. So, Autumn, he came. <laughs> Autumn came. Autumn saw. Autumn conquered. Listen, that – I don't do it for the Ours. accolades. I don't do it for the accolades. I don't do it for the awards. Um, it does feel nice to be recognized, but you know what means even more? The ring. The ring that the wise gals brought me. They, uh, The girls did all the work. Listen, like I can't sit here – and take this award for myself. This is not a personal award. This is a team award. And the Wise Gals, listen, it, it wasn't an easy season. We had our drama. We had some infighting. But what what did we do? We came together at the end. We rallied behind Kelsey, and she brought us a title. And the Wise Gals, I'm proud of them. We'll be back next January. When, whoever it is, we're going to have a different look. But we rebuild. Every year, it's what we do. And guess what? Our alumni connections are going to go crazy for the Wise Gals. They're going to love each other, and we're going to move forward, and we're going to win more titles. Job not finished. We're going to keep going. But thank you for this award. Thank you to the Academy. Appreciate it. Can I go ahead and say I forgot to add um, Joey to the Coach of the Year Award nominees just because he is a tennis coach. Nice. Mm-hmm. Adding, adding, him in, adding him in just so he can lose. <laughs> yep. It's yep. another L for Joey. Whenever he's ready to play me, let's do it. Um, all right, next up, we have cameo of the year, best cameo. Uh, this could go a lot of different ways. Um, the nominees are Daisy Cottage Cheese. To like move forward, honestly. Bang! <laughs> As the ads that usually showed up right after Daisy was talking on screen. Um, Daisy's brother. Now, Daisy has a younger brother in college. Wait, how's college? Ah, uh, it's awesome. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah, it's so cool. It's different, but yeah. it's a lot of fun. Who had a very brief appearance um, at, at Hometowns and uh, is loving college. So shout out to Daisy's brother. Uh, Maria as Firefly number one in The Pacifier. Second nomination. Second nomination. Firefly number one. Firefly number one is loading up the nominations. Um, Circles. Kelsey T. In the Barbie movie. Circles up. Another nomination for Circles. Award winning um, actress. She's a, she's an award winning actress now because she won Best Nickname. So shout out to Kelsey T. Shout out to Circles. Um, Leslie. Choo Choo. Showing up. Um, she got some backlash for her conversation with Kelsey, but that's fine. Um, we love Leslie always supporting her. Um, that one dude who was probably dating one of Daisy's friends during the hometown date, there was one guy when all her friends showed up, there was one guy in the background who didn't really do anything. He just kind of stood there and he was definitely brought along, um, just to be there. So shout out to that guy. And, uh, last but not least, we have the KFC ad that was plastered for 20 minutes during the pool party. Um, during an earlier episode of the season. so And the pool floats. And the pool floats as well. Uh, as you can see, loaded category. Mike, what, what are you thinking here? I'm thinking KFC. Send us some of those pool floats, by the way. Yeah. Sign us to a deal, please. Um, and in Daisy's Cottage Cheese, also another great ad cameo um, pointed out by me a couple weeks before the rest of TikTok found out about it. Mm-hmm. But hey, um, we're in the past fire two time nomination for Firefly number one, uh, or number two. What was it Firefly number one? Firefly yeah. number one. Yeah, that's right. Um, but I mean, I think I think there's a clear number one. I think there's a clear number one. A former MVP. Um, but hey, that's just me. Uh, I see where your head's at, Lizzie. What are you thinking? I don't know. It's pretty tough. Um, my heart really wants to give it to the KFC ad just because it was so ridiculous. <laughs> it was so ridiculous. Yet so good. Yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah, at that point, 
My only argument against the KFC ad, the award is best cameo. That was about half an episode of KFC ads. So it was still a cameo. I don't even know if that's a cameo at that point. That's just a member of the season. Colonel Sanders <laughs> was competing at that point. That's my only criticism there. Still a wonderful nominee. Um, Circles in the Barbie movie. Uh, if she had if she had a speaking role, I think she'd be more competitive in this category, which is tough. Um, and then we got some heavy hitters. Mount Rushmore's with Daisy Cottage Cheese, Maria in the Pacifier, uh, Leslie, of course, former MVP. We love her. Um, so this is probably my toughest call yet. Drum roll, please. The award for best cameo goes to. Firefly number one, Maria wow. in the pacifier steals it. Some are calling it a snub already. People on Twitter are calling this a wow. snub. They're Leslie saying, snubbed. Leslie, Leslie got, got snubbed. They're snubbed. saying Daisy Cottage Cheese snubbed. Maria's performance in the pacifier as Firefly number one will be remembered forever. And it would have got lost in in history if not for her performance on this season. So it got brought up, and now everyone's going to remember that movie because of Maria. So shout out to Firefly number one for uh, her great performance and putting Maria in our lives on our screens for the first time. Congratulations. Maria technically put Vin Diesel on the map. Some, some are saying it. Some, some are saying it. Actually, no, we'll say it. Maria put Vin Diesel on the map. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, the can congratulations to uh, Firefly number one. Shout out to her. Uh, the penultimate award now. We have two left. Mm -hmm. This is a big one. We have Batchmaker of the Season presented by we Lizzie. Do. We do. All right, guys. Batchmaker of the Season nominees. <sighs> this is a big one. All right. Um, our first nominee, the one and only Maria's dad. Way to go, Nick. That boy, Nick. Woo! Um, our second nominee, Melanie. Shout out to Melanie. Always keeping me in the loop. Does a great job in all things Bachelor Nation. Shout out to Melanie. Um, this next one really came out of nowhere. No idea who she is. Um, Lizzie. Woo! Multiple nominations for this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lame boo, tomato, tomato. <laughs> and last but not least... Alexis Humphreys, 6449, um, also known as my biggest fan in our YouTube comments. Some are, some are saying Alexis Humphreys, 6450, might be better. Only time will tell. <laughs> oh, Go. All right. <laughs> I, I don't have much to say here. I'm very biased. So I'm going to leave this one up to Lizzie to decide yeah. on who the batch maker of the year is. You can, you can definitely uh, make some, make something up for uh, earlier. You uh, made an interesting decision, you know? Yeah. Um, the only thing I have to say is that I did not nominate myself just so we have that clear for everyone. I didn't nominate them. Did you? What? It wasn't me. I don't so know who you, did. You did nominate yourself. It's only us three who have access to this sheet. I didn't nominate that's, her. That's so crazy because I did hear someone confess to it earlier. Wow. Um, and that was not me. Anyway. Crazy. Only reason I would even consider it is because I've had to deal with you two all season. That's fair. That's probably why you got nominated. Probably. All right. Who we got? Face is telling us otherwise. Um, Batchmaker of the Season award goes to, drumroll please, Maria's dad. Yes! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> yes, our boy, our golden boy. He did it. I knew you wanted to pick yourself. That, that took everything, didn't it? It really didn't, actually. Oh, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm happy for I was Maria's set dad. up. I'm very happy. He deserves it. He deserve, <laughs> deserves an award. Um. That's awesome. So yeah. cool. And, well, I yeah. think this is the highest honor that he could ever receive. So Yeah. Yeah. Batchmaker of the season. That's yeah. uh, his support has been incredible. You know, he supports the YouTube comments. 
his support is what keeps us going and I and we love it. So uh shout out to Maria's dad, shout out to Nick. And um now we move on mm-hmm. to the final award. The most important award. Some would say the most valuable award. Because now we have the MVP, most valuable person, player, lady, however you want to phrase it. I'll run through the nominees and then we can have some debate here, some discourse. The nominees for MVP of Joey season are Kelsey A, our obvious winner, Maria, Joey, Daisy, and the Batchmakers. That's both us and the listeners of this show. So now we have some debate here on what MVP means. You could give it to Kelsey. Eh? She, she won the season. You, you give it to the person who won the title. Is it best regular season? That could be argued. That could be Maria. Daisy obviously talked about a lot. She has more followers than anyone on the show. Joey was the lead. There's no season without her. And then matchmakers who are awesome. So I don't know. Where, where, where's your guys' heads at? Busy. Michael. Um, I mean, I think there's a clear cut winner, you know, bias aside of, of the Bailey's babes or anything. I think there's a clear cut winner. It's like, it's like, you know, you're in college basketball and you know, there's, there's not a debate that Zach is the national player of the year. Right. So I don't think there's a, I don't think there should be a debate that Maria is not the MVP of this season. She carried it on the team on her back. Just like Edie, some people might not like the way she plays, but yeah. But hey, a winner's a winner. Yeah, a winner's a winner, and she is cool. Now, what do we what do we think about Joey? Play devil's advocate here, because you need a Joey for Maria to work. True, true. Layup pick. Is Lay that a, pick. is that a tough precedent to set by giving the MVP award to the lead? That could be tough. I just, I just, I support my my women. I su- queens supporting queens. Queen supporting so, queens. We love that. Slay queen. Slay. Lizzie, what was your MVP head at? I don't know. I feel like I feel like it is a clear clut. <laughs> clear clut. A clear clut. Well, yeah. Well, uh, you, yeah. Got nothing for that one. Um. Yeah. Clear cut. Clear all cut right. decision. All right. Well. Thinking we're gonna go in the, the direction of America's sweetheart. It sounds like there's only one way we're going to go here. Mm-hmm. And I think we all know what way that is. It's the only way. It is the, the Maria, Maria way. Congratulations, Maria, MVP of Joey's season. Most valuable player. We don't have this season. The season isn't the success it is without Maria. We love you. We thank you for blessing our screens. Some will say Batchmakers got snubbed. We still love you guys. Maybe next season we'll get them. Um, but Maria deserves that. So, so, so very much so. So shout out to Maria. Um, all Two right. Time. Two, Two time, time MVP coach. Two time MVP coach. Oh my coach gosh. Right you've had MVPs Two back Two time MVP season. coach. Yeah. Well, I develop winners. I got that I ring. Develop winners. I right, got that too, ring. Okay. Me too. But okay. I got that ring. Lizzie, show your ring. Oh wait. Oh, oh wait, wait, my actual ring? Oh. <laughs> um, Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> um, all right, folks. That right there is a wrap on Joey's season. Do we have any any final moments, any thank yous, any goodbyes we want to say before we head out? Goodbye to my socks that I just took off. Well, that's pleasant. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you know, it was, it was a great, thanks for, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Um, you know, stay tuned for future endeavors, yep. um, and interviews and next season, Jen, we're coming. We're coming. We're coming, Jen. Lizzie, okay, Joey. Any, any final We're goodbyes? coming, Jen. We're coming. <laughs> any final goodbyes to Joey's oh, season? We're coming, Jen. Um, it was a great first season for me as a participant in the league. Uh, We're going to do better next time, but 
It was a great season. Shout out to Joey again, just because he was he was America's sweetheart and him like in his own way. Um, I don't know. That's pretty much it. Also, shout out to Daisy for carrying my team the entire <laughs> season as well. Love still love that. Well, everyone, um, again, stay tuned. Next week we have a very fun episode planned for you. A very special guest. I will tease now. You are not going to want to miss it. So stay tuned for next Tuesday's episode. A uh, very fun guest there. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for supporting us through Joey season. Follow us on TikTok if you haven't already, because uh, yeah, we're trying to hit 10 K soon. We're almost there. So do that. We'll see you guys next week, next Tuesday. And congratulations to all of award winners. Peace.